Welcome to the most exciting, charming, and romantic travel destination, New York. A city with so much of pulsing energy and vibrant lifestyle that will make you act like a New Yorker within no time. Capture the unique big city holiday experience in this iconic paradise that boasts power and wealth. Beautifully placed at the mouth of Hudson River in the southernmost part of the New York State, it is popularly known as the Big Apple, NYC or just the city. Famous for transforming itself overnight, a lot can happen in a New York minute. Things change here in a flash and the decisions taken here influences rest of the world within no time. It is a worldwide center for art, research, fashion, media, entertainment, finance and trade. It houses three largest US stock exchanges, 46 Fortune 500 companies and head offices of many banks. Diverse population from every corner of 182 countries takes part in everything the city has to offer, making it the cosmopolitan capital for business and culture. The central borough, Manhattan, is a vibrant center of New York City. It is a long and narrow island that is beautifully placed on a natural harbor encircled by other boroughs, the Brooklyn, the Queens, the Bronx, and the Staten Island. The Big Apple is the second most visited travel destination in the world. Tourists flock here around the year to soak in the sheer amount of culture, food, and music which is found at every corner of the city. From the skylines to subways, Times Squares to Empire State Building, Yankee Stadium to the Statue of Liberty, this adventuresome city amuses every visitor with its dizzying array of museums, theaters, art galleries, exhibitions, restaurants, and shopping. Getting in Whether you are traveling across the Atlantic or across the River Hudson, getting into this great city is absolutely simple. If you are coming from outside the United States, then the best way is to reach one of the five boroughs. Getting in by plane Flying to one of the city's airport is the best option if you are coming from far away. More than 90 airline companies and several flights from almost every corner of the world fly to New York City's one of the several airports. John F. Kennedy and New York Liberty are the two international airports while La Guardia is mostly used for domestic flights. Titerboro Airport is popular for business jets and general aviation offering wide range of private jets and charter aircrafts with reasonable airfares for individuals and small groups. Visitors can get around using taxis, buses, private cars and subways from all these airports. Getting in by train From near and far cities, trains can be an affordable, stress-free and efficient way to get into the city. Trains connect New York to United States and Canada. Grand Central Terminal on the east and Penn Station on the west are the two main rail stations. Visitors from all nearby suburbs can reach the city by three distinct railroads. Each station is served by numerous subways, buses and taxis. Getting in by bus Bus particularly would be the best option for travelers from Washington, Boston, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Connecticut and East Coast cities. Regular buses from United States and Canada reach the Big Apple daily offering convenient and affordable services. Bolt Bus, Mega Bus and Greyhound are some of the reliable carriers than others.
get in by car. Reaching New York City by car is trouble free because of its close proximity to Strathmore, Philadelphia and other key cities along the east coast. It is advisable to use a navigator for directions. Once you get into the city, do compare the parking rates that vary from place to place. Get in by boat. Ferries, cruise ships and ocean liners can be the stylish and amazing experience to enter this big city. New York City is one of the chief international passenger seaports. Many ships start and end a journey from this city, including the renowned ocean liner Cunard Line. Two fast ferries, Sea Streak and NY Waterways, serves the Big Apple from New Jersey. Getting around. Upon arriving, you can get around efficiently by yellow cabs, coach buses, subways, or trains. You can even book a private car or a limousine with just one phone call. Walking is common practice for New Yorkers and you will notice crowded streets during the day as well as night. Here are the most popular modes to get around the city. Walking Hitting the smoothly paved sidewalks of the popular pedestrian city is the most popular activity. All New Yorkers will gladly help you with the directions if you ask them, since they enjoy giving directions. All five boroughs can be walked upon and if you're lucky enough, you'll stroll past few movie stars, models and television personalities. Join the walking tourist groups to explore the city's street life, architecture, businesses and people around. Bicycle Cycling can be a rewarding experience on the bike-friendly roads. Separated bicycle paths and lanes have made cycling common in the Big Apple. You can rent a bike for a prolonged time from one of the agency or share a bike for a short period of time from the City Bike Program which allows you to pick and return a bike to any one of the 330 stations. Hop on, hop off bus. If you're looking for an inexpensive way to get around, then consider riding on the hop on, hop off bus. Most visitors enjoy traveling in these buses to get general sigh of this wonderful city. All buses can be easily boarded as they kneel to the ground level and are wheelchair friendly as well. Maps with bus and subway routes can be of great help. They are available for free at the libraries, hotel lobbies and the tourist centers. Subway Subway can be the safest fastest and the most economical way to travel. The city's subway is the world's most extensive and largest transit system with 468 stations serving millions of passengers 24 by 7. Don't be surprised to find it crowded even at 2 a.m. When you're in doubt, you're sure to get help. Ask someone who looks like they know what they are doing. Grab a free subway map from any one of the attendants. Taxis Taxis or the yellow cabs are the fastest and expensive method to get around. They can be the best option for the group of 3 to 4 people. More than 13,000 taxis and 40,000 for hire vehicles are omnipresent serving solo as well as the group passengers. TLC, a government body catering passengers' interests, allows you to pay the fare via credit or debit cards. It also gives you the right to select the preferred route or tell the driver to stop smoking or stop the annoying music. A new popular online platform, Cab With Me, allows New Yorkers to connect to other people nearby and share the taxi fare. 
private cars and limousine. Both the ultimate limousine luxury experience for special and stylish occasions with your beloved ones. Private cars known as the black cars or livery cabs run on flat rates rather than being metered. They provide door-to-door -door service and can also be booked on phone. Payments to these cars can be done via a smartphone app during the journey. Ferries and Water Taxis Ferries running every 15-20 minutes connect various points of New York City via waterways and Hudson waterfront. Don't miss to capture the exclusive photography opportunity and amazing views of Statue of Liberty and the New York City Harbor on the way. Take a ride to Staten Island, one of the popular destinations for fabulous views of the big city. Numerous water taxis and boats run between Manhattan, Brooklyn and New Jersey. Renting a car Driving by the numerous twists and turns, particularly on the parkways, could be quite interesting and the best mode to traverse the city. Many agencies have offices across the city that offers cars on rent. To avoid misleading the roads, get a good map which is specially prepared for tourists that has every street and lane information. Refer Google to compare the best parking deals. Attractions A trip to New York City is mind-boggling as it has abundance of world's most cherished attractions with renowned museums, finest art galleries, excellent parks, theaters, and wide range of dining and nightlife, the city has something for everyone. It is nearly impossible to list all the attractions here, but we have rounded up few that should belong to the two sale list of every tourist. Statue of Liberty to honor the friendship developed during the French Revolution, the French government gifted the statue on the 100th anniversary of American independence. Each one of the seven spikes on the Lady Liberty's crown represents seven seas, spreading liberty across all seven seas. The torch on the right hand side symbolizes enlightenment. This 93 meter high American symbol of freedom welcomes immigrants to the United States of America who are looking for a better life. By climbing 354 steps, visitors can take an exclusive view of the city from the Lady Liberty's crown. Empire State Building You get a roaring view of the Big Apple from the 102nd floor of this 381 meters tall building. Built in 1931 in just 11 months, it is often called as the 8th wonder of the world. This Art Deco skyscraper, which is topped by a massive spire, looks prettier even from the ground floor. Purchasing advance tickets for visiting this building can cut off your waiting time. Central Park Located centrally in Manhattan, this city park was specially developed for fun-filled and relaxing holidays for New Yorkers. It is a huge 341 hectare park with many playgrounds, lakes, fountains, ice rinks, theaters, baseball fields and tennis courts. Over 30 million visitors come here annually for various activities. Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Central Park Zoo is located within the Central Park. Times Square It is the city's most exciting, colorful and buzzing street that magnetizes tourists with its electronic billboards, broadways, cinemas, restaurants and shops. The Times Square is round-the-clock bustling place especially during the night. This street is a center for social activities and it is super crowded during the New Year Eve's ball drop. Since 1907, every year 
a crystal ball drops fantastically from a 77 feet high pole of the Times Square building. Some of the most famous places in this street are the iconic Paramount building, Embassy Theatre and Madame Etouzard's Wax Museum. American Museum of National History Opened in 1871, this National History and Anthropological Museum is popular for its real scientific data and large visualization equipments. Get the cutting edge information across all the continents, right from past to present, from the giant dinosaur skeletons to the planetarium, from the world of ocean birds to the butterfly conservatory. There are approximately 32 million artifacts across 25 buildings and 45 exhibition halls to explore it. Brooklyn Bridge Built in 1869, this world-famous suspension bridge connects Manhattan to Brooklyn. One of the finest examples of engineering accomplishment during the 19th century. It looks impressive with its length of 1.8 kilometers and two large masonry towers that anchors a mesh of cables making the bridge incredibly strong. The wide elevated pedestrian paths separated from the vehicle lanes are open for walking and cycling. The monumental towers and the far-fetched views of the city's skyline attract millions of tourists every year. Metropolitan Museum of Art Truly a worth visiting art museum that houses more than 2 million artworks and vast collection of masterpieces from various corners of the world. With 250 rooms and spanning over 200,000 square meters, this museum is most popular for its Egyptian, Greek and Roman archaeological collections as well as the artworks from Europe, America, Africa and Asia. Visit the other popular galleries dedicated to drawing, prints, musical instruments, costumes, photographs and modern arts. Survey the roof sculpture, garden and exclusive private art collection sections of this popular museum. Rockefeller Center Known as the Radio City until 1940, this 22-acre iconic plaza with enormous skating rings and sculptures is famous for wonderful top city views, Christmas trees, Radio City Music Hall and hordes of dining and shopping experiences. Located in the Midtown Manhattan, Rockefeller Center is always crowded by visitors from morning to midnight, prominently for the top of the rock view to enjoy the exclusive sunset and the performances at the Radio City Music Hall. Grand Central Terminal Constructed in 1913, this monumental railway station is not only an essential hub of transportation but a beautiful example of Buick's art architecture. It is famous for its 75 feet sky themed ceiling, gold and nickel plated chandeliers and glimmering marble floors. This station has 75 different tracks and two distinct levels. Whether you decide to travel or not, do take a free guided tour of this station which offers plenty of shopping and dining experiences for its visitors. The Museum of Modern Art Opened in 1929, the Museum of Modern Art is based on emerging creative ideas from 19th century. It houses more than 100,000 pieces of drawings, designs and photographs that hangs on the wall. The airy gallery houses everything from paintings to films, from sculptures to architectures. During summers, on Saturdays, the architectural garden of this museum turns into a free weekly dance party which is one of the significant parts of the city's nightlife. Staten Island Ferry Don't forget to take a 25 minutes free ride on the Staten Island Ferry 
to see the Statue of Liberty and the iconic harbor. This ferry service is in operation since 1905 and makes around 35,000 trips annually, servicing 25 million passengers. Staten Island Ferry operates round the clock every 15 minutes from Lower Manhattan to Staten Island. Get a fascinating views of the astonishing Manhattan skyline, the Statue of Liberty and the modernized Manhattan Terminal. Well, the attractions catalog doesn't stop here. With so much to see and things to do, you will surely fall in love with this lively city and plan your revisit.